Steam OS is finally officially here for the Asus ROG Ally. I'm, this is Chris Mizo, and I'll show you the easiest way you can set it up on your Asus ROG Ally. Make sure you have a USB drive, USB-C hub, and external drive if you want to back it up. All you have to do is download Rufus. It's going to look something like this. If you don't know how to get to it, just go down in the description box down below and just go down here and download Rufus 4.7, the standard if you're installing it on Windows. And also the reason why I'm doing it on a desktop, so it's a lot easier for you to see. You can also do this on your ROG Ally as well, but of course you use your USB hub in order to do so, or you have a compatible USB drive where it also has USB-C. Rufus has found the updated version. If you get this DBX file, just click yes, just install it. In order to get here, just go down to the description box down below. What this is, is the Steam Deck image. Just hit the check mark and click download. Ah, uh, this is getting exciting. We're almost, we're just about there. So now we got the image, just like how we expect it. You don't have to open it up. You don't have to do anything, but you do need this image. So what you have to do here with Rufus is just make sure it is a boot selection. So you're gonna make sure it's a disc or ISO. So just make sure to choose that. And then we're going to select the Steam Deck rep uh, repair. It looks funny. It just should just say Steam Deck OS. It would just make, make a little bit more sense. But just click that. And then once it's ready to go, you're going to need at least a three to four gigabytes. You want it to be FAT32, which is it's already defaulted to. Now you can take a look down here. Just make sure everything's good. We're good here. And we're going to start. It's going to erase everything in the USB and we're okay with that. Just make sure you are, make sure you don't have any important data before you continue and just click okay. Now, if you need any USB drives, just check down in the description box down below and I will also have it. So just let it write the image. It's gonna take a little bit, but once it does, we'll go into the Asus ROG Ally and I'll show you what to do next. It's getting close to the finish, but just have a little patience here as it says, please wait make sure it is fully complete it will let you know and once it does we'll go right into the asus rog ally and i'll show you what to do next all right now it's ready to go close out of this make sure to go and eject your drive now now another great idea to do is make sure you have an ssd on the side just in case now you could always rely on to asus's my cloud but just in case you could always back up your ASUS Windows drive if you prefer to go back to Windows OS. You wanna make sure that your ASUS ROG Ally is powered on to do this, meaning it just has to be on. So all we have to do is get our device first, which is our USB hub. Now it's recommended to plug it in because you're going to have to do practically a full reboot. It's like installing a whole new OS. So make sure to plug into the power delivery side, plug in your USB drive. We just have to restart it manually. So just go to windows, hit the power button and restart. But before doing so, remember to back up your device because if you don't, then you can lose all your data. So if you don't know exactly how to do so, I do have a guide based on it. Assuming that you already backed up your data, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to restart the Asus ROG Ally. And while we're restarting, make sure to hold down the volume plus on the volume rocker so we can get into the BIOS. Perfect. We are exactly where we want to be. All we have to do is go into enter setup. And then from here, we're going to hit Y. We're going to the security tab by hitting right. To secure boot. And we're gonna disable it. We're gonna save and exit, and then we're gonna install the Steam OS finally. Make sure to hit the volume button up as it goes into the boot menu. If it doesn't, just hit restart, and then we can do it all over again. So now we're gonna go to the USB key. So while it's doing this, just don't even touch it, let it do its thing and it should boot up right to the desktop as soon as it's done. It looks like Steam OS is just loading up here. It takes a little bit of time, just some patience. You're gonna see these options up on the top. 
And what you're gonna see is clear local user data, repair Steam OS install, terminal, repair tools, and wipe device and install Steam OS. So we're gonna go ahead and do this. You're gonna see a prompt to hit proceed. It's also fair to let you know that it may act a bit laggy when you are in the Steam desktop, just because you are on a USB drive. It may work a bit simpler with the SD card. It's a lot easier if you use a physical mouse. Now we're finally in Steam OS. It's gonna look something like this once it starts up and is ready to go. The setup is pretty straightforward. You just set up your Wi-Fi and whatever information it asks. Now we're officially in Steam Deck from here. You just have to sign in. You can usually log in from your phone if you have the app, which makes it a little bit easier or you can just do it manually. So let's go ahead and try to install Doom Dark Ages and see how it runs. That's our first game. So while that's installing, we're going to install Deki, which will re-enable your RGBs as you see that they're not working currently. We're going to go down to, you're going to hit. Ooh, definitely got to get a better stand, get tired of this little paper stand. If you notice the RGBs aren't working, but we're going to get that to work. We're going to go over down to power, then switch to desktop. The Steam button will be this play looking button here. Just gotta open up Firefox. Once it's ready, we'll open it up. Now we're gonna go to the Decky page. So we're gonna go over to downloads here, go to the file real quick. Go to the file is you want to make sure to erase the download extension. So just erase that last bit of text, erase download, so that way Decky can properly install in Steam OS. Now we just have to double click it and click execute. Install Decky. Hit yes. Next, we will have to go to the terminal or also known as console inside of Steam Deck. And you're going to have to put this command in order to install a plugin. The command should look something like this. Okay, it's gonna be a little bit of a pain here. Hopefully this command works this time. Yes, it does. Such a pain typing, but at least it's in. Hopefully you can just copy and paste it. It'll make it a bit easier. You're gonna hit this Armory Crate button. What used to be Armory Crate, go to the plug. And then from there, you're gonna see Hue Sync. And now we can enable it. Click enable. We could do say rainbow. And there you go. You have your OLEDs if you'd like. You have it for battery life. You can even set the brightness. Enough of that. Let's go test out Doom Dark Ages and see if it works. Also make sure you change over your graphical settings just in case if you have a desktop PC as well. So far so good. Hopefully you found this content very useful. If you did make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you stay tuned in this channel for a review later on or for any other updates for the Asus ROG Ally. Also, if you're not part of the big one, the full fan band, make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button for more. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. Also, make sure you follow my Discord channel if you want more tech tips, updates, or upgrades to your PC or even building a PC. And don't forget to follow my X handle for all the newest updates as well. Thanks so much for watching. This is Chris Mizo signing out.